Hey guys, welcome to your first lesson in Microsoft Word. Uh, this lesson is very, very basic, so we're just going to call it getting to know Word. What you want to do in order to start this assignment is literally just click on Microsoft Word Lesson 1. You'll see that um, it has a link to the actual BlendSpace account. Um, so what you're going to want to do is click on this link, kind of open, um, just kind of click it and close it. You know, these things open so you can add different pieces of content. If you have a little arrow up here, kind of click it so you can maximize your view. What you want to do when you get into your blend space account is start looking at the actual the actual tiles you can barely see them but they are kind of numbered um you can see this one in the very top is number one this one is number two up here this one is number three this is four this is five and this is six so you have six things that you need to interact with in order to complete this uh lesson so you want to start uh just by kind of looking at your learning goal let's go ahead and look at the learning goal all right and like i said if this thing opens like this you just kind of want to click this out to the side so you get a full view of your blend space lesson so learning goal you guys will be able to understand the origins and basics of microsoft word objective you guys will be able to use the internet to answer questions regarding microsoft office products uh vocabulary um so this is kind of be what your next quiz is going to be based on so we have quick access toolbar we have the ribbon we have command group we have ruler we have page number indicator word count document views zoom uh, sorry, Zoom control, Zoom control, backstage views. All right, so we're going to go over all of that in this little lesson right here. All right, so you can just kind of click the little arrow right here, or you can click the X right here if you like to kind of be in control of your tiles. So this right here is a, a video a friend of mine, Andrew, had made about submitting work in Edmodo. Um, so he actually started this year in Microsoft Word, so this is kind of his introductory lesson. This probably will not be here by the time you actually get to your BlendSpace account. I'm probably going to remove that one. Um, but if it is here, just kind of skip over that and go to video number three. Uh, in this video, um, I basically walk you through, this is the video you're watching right now, uh, walk you through your actual assignment, how to set up your assignment, and what to actually do in your assignment. Okay, so this is me. This is my video. Your actual document is um, from a website called GCF Learn Free, and that's down here. So all the information you're gonna need for this assignment is in this document down here. So you're gonna start right here and it's gonna say open a new tab, and it's gonna take you to something called GCF Learn Free, all right? All right, and you can kind of notice it, it breaks this down. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can kind of see this lesson itself has six pages of material. So there's a lot, and it's basically identifying different pieces of Microsoft Word. I always say when you open up these GCF Learn Free lessons, um, you wanna start by watching this little introductory video. Um, in the video, they're gonna go over a lot of the things that you're gonna have to do in the actual assignment, all right? And then you can kind of see that, um, you know, some of your keywords here are already set up. So you can see we're gonna get into what, what is the ribbon? What is the quick access toolbar? What is the backstage view in Microsoft Word? You know, I know you guys know what Microsoft Word is, uh, but in the long run, um, I doubt we've ever used it to the best of our ability. We probably use it, you know, the basics of Microsoft Word. And just like PowerPoint, you know, things start out very easy and things get very uh, tricky very quickly. All right. So you can kind of see here getting to know Word 2016. Uh, it goes through the Word interface, um, the start screen. Um, uh, I love these little interacting things. If you click on these little interacting things, it actually tells you what different pieces of the Microsoft window um, are. And this can be really helpful for your vocabulary. So this is the page in the word count down here in your Microsoft Word view. Um, if you actually want to look at how many words you have in a document, you'd hit this right here and it will actually do your words for you. Or you can just look down here and it keeps track of them for you. This is called your document views down here. And you can see we have uh, three different document views. We have read mode. We have print layout, we have web layout, okay? Right here is your zoom control bar. This is called your scroll bar. This is your ruler right here. This is your document pane. This is your command group right here. Um, and notice they're all called different command groups. This is your font command group. This is your paragraph command group right here. This is your styles command group right here, all right? So this is gonna be invaluable to you guys, all right? Um, this is your quick access toolbar. This is your ribbon. Um, this is your Microsoft account, which we won't really use in this class. All right, so go through this. This is invaluable, all right? So as you go through this document, and you do need to look at all this stuff, guys. Like a lot of your quiz questions, I pull right out of this document, okay? So you can kind of see, this is what the ribbon is, and this is what it does, all right? Um, showing and hiding the ribbon using the tell me feature. 
which I've never used, but you guys use a lot. Uh, the quick access toolbar. Um, you can actually add certain things to the quick access toolbar. I guess it's just a personal preference. By default, your quick access toolbar comes with um, certain functions, save, undo, and redo commands. So when you open up Microsoft Word, you have these automatically. You can actually add different things. So let's say that you are a, a printer, you print a lot of things. You can add printing um, to your quick access toolbar, okay? Your ruler will allow you to align things a little bit better in Microsoft Word. And I'm just kind of showing you all this stuff right now so that you can click and go through it. Here's another interactive window where you can click on these little plus signs uh, to learn what these different pieces of Microsoft Word are. Okay. Here's about your document views, uh, zooming in and out. And then when you get to page six, um, this is going to be your challenge. Now, I usually take these challenges and I usually add a lot of things to it. So don't, I wouldn't say that this is going to be your assignment. It's not. All right, so when you're done with that, let's just say we're done and we're ready to actually get started. Here's your actual assignment directions right here, and here's an actual document that you can download um, so that you can actually go through this stuff yourself. So your assignment directions basically uh, it says, please start a document using the following information, your name, getting to know Word, and today's date. It needs to look just like this, all right? Please answer the following questions, all right? Please define the vo vocabulary words listed below. Can't use the GCF Learn website you're going to basically define the quick access toolbar, the ribbon, the command group, the ruler, the page number indicator, and the word count. All right. You're actually going to answer these questions. What year was Microsoft uh, Word introduced to the public? What are the different types of document views? Who is the founder of Microsoft? What is the backstage view? Change the zoom view of the document to 120%. Save the document and submit via Edmodo. So I've already changed this part. Um, I'm going to try to go ahead and start um, collecting at least some assignments through Classcraft. So for right now, for this assignment, make sure you submit it through Classcraft. And I'll go ahead and change that in the directions. Uh, the document that you can actually use is right here. I started it for you. Um, so you can kind of download this and go ahead and fill it in. Um, your download button is right up here at the very top. Um, so please make sure you download this to your student numbers or your H drive and just fill in the information. This should be a relatively easy lesson. Think of it kind of like a scavenger hunt for information. And again, you're just getting to know Microsoft Word 2016. That's the whole point of the lesson. Um, so make sure you interact with your GCF free, um, GCF Learn free link right here, which is tile number four, and answer the questions from the document in tile number six. All right.